we're diving into the world of CNC machining with a fun and informative showdown, the CNC touch block versus the classic paper method for zeroing bits. Now both methods have their merits and we're gonna explore the pros and cons so you can make a better informed decision on what works best for you. Let's dive in. Before we jump in, let's quickly cover what zeroing a bit means. Zeroing sets the exact position of your CNC tool's cutting tip relative to the workpiece's surface. This ensures precision for cutting, carving, and engraving. A proper zero is crucial for accuracy, so let's see how the touch block and paper methods stack up. First up is the CNC touch block. This handy tool connects to your CNC machine's electronics and automates the zeroing process. On the Onefinity Masso screen, it's always good to make sure the probe is working by simply touching the probe to the bit. It illuminates the word probe on the screen by turning green. This means you have a good connection. To activate the touch probe, open the jog and probing screen and touch the auto Z button. From there, you'll want to touch the probe block at the very center of the screen as shown here. And as you can see here, the machine does all the work. It's precise, fast, and repeatable. But it's not without drawbacks. Touch blocks can be expensive and they require proper calibration. This begins with getting a precise measurement of the thickness of your touch block. Now for the X and Y calibration, you need to measure the width of the block but for the purpose of this video, we're only gonna focus on the Z-axis. Now that your block has been measured, you now need to put the dimensions into the Masso screen, which is conveniently listed over the probing block that we use to zero the bit. As you can see, I have the Z, Y, and X offsets loaded. Now for the classic paper method. This technique uses just a regular piece of paper and a bit of patience, which is sometimes in short demand in the shop. As you can see here, I'm shuffling the paper while simultaneously tapping down the Z button on the Masso screen. This is quite the feat of coordination, kind of like tapping your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. Once the bit is lowered manually, you'll want to move it down until the paper can't move freely but isn't tightly pinched. It's simple and effective. However, it's not as precise as the touch block and it takes a little longer to just get it right. The paper method is also more hands-on and leaves room for user error, but it's practically free and works universally on any CNC machine. And there you have it, two methods for zeroing bits, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. But what method do you prefer? Please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more CNC tips and DIY inspiration. Thanks for watching.